Hello, and welcome back to the Slime King Story Mod Speedrun series, where we're playing... What are we up to? Crystal Caves Level 6. Let's get into it. Alright, so... This level's actually somewhat short. Um, I'll show the easy way to beat it first, and then we will go through to the harder harder methods. All right, so this first jump's a little tricky, not dying to the crystals, but then once you're here, you can just jump and hold left, get up to here, make your way up, kind of zigzag your way up, take it nice and safe, get down here, make your way up again, get that key, drop down, and get to the end. All right, now that we know how to play it, let's see how fast of a time we can get with the standard route. Jump up there, jump left, da, 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 da. play it safe, jump jump, get the key, get to the end. Alright, around 10 seconds, not bad. Let's see what we can do better. So first thing, we don't actually have to get up to the top of this to go left. We can just jump right there and squeeze through. Um, from there, we can go all the way around that. And... Uh, once we're down there, the lower we land, the better. Like, we don't want to be sliding on the wall any longer than we need to. So I'm going to try to land land pretty low on the wall. Now, to get a good jump on uh, above the crystals in the middle area, up ahead. So right up, up here, to get over this, oops, <laughs> to get over those, you need to land pretty high up on the wall right here. You, you don't want to bump that. So it's pretty high, but if you get it, you'll have no problem. The other thing we can do is avoid the very last section up here, like that. Let's string that together, see what kind of time we can get. All right, we shaved a whole second off. Now, there are some further improvements to make. Um, not a lot, actually, but... So, you may have noticed there's two blocks over here. This one and this one, and we can jump up on them, and that's going to save us a little bit of time. But it's tricky, because you... Uh, I mean, the fastest way is to land here. If you do this, you're, you're losing a lot of time because you're automatically going left and then you have to build your momentum back going right. So you want to you really want to jump up there. And then this is not a super hard jump, but it's not super easy either. And other than that, it's just stringing together the rest of the things we did on the run. So let's see if we can get under 9 seconds here. Oh, that was slow. All right. Well, that was good. I like it. Oh, that's pretty dang good. Oh no, I didn't jump high enough. I was I was uh, not doing a very good job there. That was a little slow, but I'll take it. Oh shoot, I went too fast. There we go. Yeah! Oh, we just snuck under nine seconds. So as you can see, like this method doesn't save a whole ton of time, um, but it does save some. The reason it wasn't that far under 9 seconds is because I didn't do that well on the rest of the level. Let's see if we can get it a little better, a little cleaner. That's pretty good. That'll be mid, yeah, eight, 8.45. Heck yeah, I'll take that. And now the last thing we want to be paying attention to is this middle area. We, the The lower we can jump, over that, that those crystals there, the the better we're gonna do. So you'll know on on my previous runs, I've been kind of holding it high just to make sure I clear it, but we're losing some time there. So let's see if we can get, can't get closer to eight seconds here by getting a nice jump around there like that. Okay, that was slower. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, alright, that might be as good as I can do. Now, do we have any other strategies? Actually, I have a thought. Why don't we try... Instead of going from there to there, let's go from there straight up to there. That should, that should save us some time. It's a little more challenging. Maybe? Maybe it's easier. Dunno. Depends what you've, uh, what you're used to. Yeah, that's gotta be faster. Oh. so close. Dang, I keep going, going into that little nook. I don't want to go in there. This first jump's also hard, you don't want to go too high. Because any extra height you do is just time lost. Oh, this is good, this is good, this could be the one! Yeah! Alright, we dropped it down a little more. I think, I think, uh, oh, I think it might be possible to get under 8 seconds. Ah, uh, I would not be surprised to see an under 8 second time on this level, but that's going to be a lot of, a lot of optimization everywhere, I think. Unless there's a new strategy. But that's all the strategies I know for this level. Hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Check out the links in the description to learn more about the True Slime King.